Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, a.k.a. Pro Joe, and this is going to be a video on Tyson Forster and how hot he is for the Lehigh Valley fan. I'm looking at the last three games to just go over it for the sample size, and then if you look back at it even more, then it even portrays how hot he is even more if you want to get into his stats even more, but we'll look at the last three games, and then we'll also give a reaction to you on the Binghamton Devils and Lehigh Valley Phantoms game last night that unfortunately did not go as well for the Phantoms, that they lost in a shootout, but the aforementioned Forster had a brilliant, silky smooth shootout backhander move on the Devils goaltender that would get to shortly as well as a Ryan Fitzgerald nice uh, forehand uh, shot there when it looked like he was going to go to the backhand, I think, which is what got the goalie to the forehand to get it to go in for the puck there. But just so people know moving forward, I'm not always going to do reactions to each game anymore just when I have time. That's why I'm doing these weekly previews and weekly recap. That'll be one of the videos that is shared on the end screen of this video. Please check it out. It recaps last week's games and previews the rest of this week's game. So Saturday and Sunday's tilts. So you can still check those out. Skip around and find those spots, which is quite easy to do. It's not too long of a video. I hope you all enjoyed that. I really appreciate your support. Support, excuse me. And please subscribe. Trying to hit 130 by the end of this week at 125 right now. And then need five more people. Let's go, people. Let's get it moving. Let's get it turned. And just need five more cats right here. And let's get it moving. But on Wednesday the 31st, Tyson Forster was a force. He had the goal assisted by Wilman and Wilson to start the scoring in the 4-1 to victory against Hershey. Then in an assist on Derek Pouillot's goal, followed up by another goal that he had assisted by Wade Allison, who I'm going to do a video on soon too because he's been as hot as a damn firecracker as well, looking absolutely stellar and brilliant on the ice himself. So we'll be having a video coming up on him soon, so stay tuned for that. But then uh, you had Ryan Fitzgerald score later, assisted by guess who? Tyson Forster. So he had a four-point game in that tilt against the fans. It was absolutely dominant there. This kid's able to hit, too. He's able to check. He's able to forecheck. He's good and active with his stick on the stick check. Uh, he's been a very, 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 very good player. And yes, I did have to say that many varies for Tyson Forster because he has earned it at this point. He's been that good for the Lehigh Valley fans, being a 23rd overall pick in the 2021 entry draft, and is not even supposed to be. That's the best part. He's not even supposed to be in the AHL yet, and he is already dominating, already one of the best players in the fans, along with another OHL prospect, obviously, in Zade, the man, Wisdom, who's looked great as well. Hasn't gotten on the point sheet as much recently, but who gives a flying kahunas? He still looked very, very good and very active on the forecheck with the stick as well. And we'll get into him on a video shortly as well after I put out the Allison video in the coming days after this one. But when we move into Saturday's tilt, the 5-4 shootout victory, um, we had, if you look at <clears throat> this game, we had Tyson Forster scored the second goal of the game, which was assisted by Garrett Wilson and Max Wilman again, who is also obviously a great key player, got the two-way contract, which I mentioned in past video, doing very keen and very successful himself, doing everything he needs to do. And then Forster scoring, drilling one home um, in the third period, even up with about 48 seconds left, again assisted by Wilman and Bonneman, who's looked very good since coming back down for the Phantoms. Then if we go into the tilt... On Monday, yesterday, the 2-1 to one loss in the shootout, unfortunately, against Binghampton. Uh, you have Studenik that's able to score as the Phantoms sabotage their power play. Unfortunately, he's just going to get into the game recap now, as well as praising Tyson Forster as we get to the shootout. But Studenik, the Phantoms, that's the one thing they have to correct. I forget if it was against Binghampton or Hershey in an earlier game. I think it might have been Binghampton, but it could have been Hershey. I can't remember exactly, but they also sabotaged their power play in that game and then had to come back to be able to win it when they probably could have had a much easier affair in that one if they did not do such, but that's a small problem to fix. We had Linus Hoberg, the rookie defenseman himself, coming to the high slot, assisted by Chris Begris, his fellow defense partner, and Ryan Fitzgerald, who stays hot himself. So, uh, that's who was able to tie it up there coming into the high slot. That was a very nice goal by him. Very smart move by him, too, to move into the high slot, get into a better prone scoring chance, and put it home. Uh, I thought in this game the Phantoms 
Uh, they just need to get their power play going. It was 0 for 4 on this game. It's been 1 for 3, 1 for 4 in game. If you can get that consistently going, you got still got one of the best PKs in the game. You can't keep letting short aiming goals happen. I think that's either their third or fourth they've allowed this year. So obviously you want to limit that. That's one of the only really negatives the Phantoms have had this season in this stellar start. But other than those, excuse me, I thought they played a pretty good game. Um, I thought the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, after rewatching it this morning, uh, Joey Sen uh, played a good game, and that obviously benefited the Devils as well. But you got a nice move forehand, a backhand to forehand by Ryan Fitzgerald to score, and a nice silky smooth backhander again. Forster looks amazing on breakaways, amazing in shootout. I mean, this guy just knows how to get it done already at such a young age of 19, just getting drafted this year already capitalizing on everything that comes in. He got injured at the start of the season, come back, hasn't missed a beat, has looked brilliant, has looked absolutely amazing. It is Forster the menace. He is the force with the most on the ice, and he is just going to continue to get it done for our Lehigh Valley Phantoms this season, and who knows? If he stays this hot, yes, he was just drafted this year, but the Flyers have to make a decision if the OHL eventually goes back. Maybe they will give him a shot. It's probably not likely. It's more likely for the Allisons of the world more mature. But who knows? Maybe they will give him a shot if he stays this hot. Well, the next game for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms is going to be Saturday against the Hershey Bears and then Sunday against these same very Binghampton Devils. I hope you enjoyed the very short recap mixed in there. With this video all on Tyson Forster and how hot he is. He is as hot as a firecracker. Stay hot, Tyson. Keep doing great things for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. And go Phantoms. And let's get another winning streak going. Still not a regulation loss in a while. As this was, of course, a shootout loss on Saturday against those Hershey Bears. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe. Try and hit 130 by the end of this week. Your support is greatly appreciated. I really appreciate it. And check out the Phantoms weekly recap and weekly look ahead to this week video that's going to be shared on the end screen. Since it still has the previews to this games and if you want to know if you're not somebody that's able to get AHL TV or listen to the game what happened in the last week you'll get that recap as well so please check that out that's going to be linked at the bottom in the end screen have a great save and pleasant day everybody go phantom stay ghostly everybody this has been the next edition of the ghostly take for sports fat news aka projo peace out stay safe and enjoy the hockey everybody